Hello my friends and welcome to another great episode of Pink Tool Girl. Today we're going to be talking about how to make stamped homemade tiles that you can use in a variety of different ways and we're going to talk about that coming up next. For budget-friendly home improvement advice where we help you save more so that you can do more in your home, make sure you hit that bell and subscribe today so that you don't miss out on a single episode. So today's project I did a couple years back as a DIY home decor project in order to do Christmas gifts. So you can use a stamped homemade tile and you can have a brand new tile or you can get cast off tiles that you can do at like a construction salvage store or something like a secondhand store and you can do um, two different things. I'm going to do two different categories. First, you could do a DIY home decor project which is using those tiles as coasters. You can customize that using an ink kit that I'm going to link to in the description below. Or I didn't do this as a project, but after I thought of it, I thought that would have been a great idea. And that is to use the tile, customize it with a stamp, and you'll see I, I have a Paris stamp that I love using. You could use that and then use that as a focal point for your kitchen backsplash or an area in your home that you wanted to use as a backsplash using tile. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to do it of stamping a homemade tile to use as a coaster. I began the project by setting out the tile and cleaning them off with rubbing alcohol. I just used a paper towel and made sure that they were dust free so that the paint would stick on it. Then the kit is super fun. It comes with a old style stamp holder and you put a cloth on top of it in order to be able to mix in the colors that you're going to put onto the tiles. So I cleaned off the top of the ink in order to make sure that I could count how many drops I did because on this one I was going to mix the color and I didn't want them to be inconsistent. So I counted the drops and then you just kind of rub it over the tile. It's it's pretty a, it's a smooth process. Once you do that for the one, you count the drops, you do it consecutively in order to get it over all four evenly. Now, here's a tip that I learned. You have to use the cloth in order to get the side as well, unless you get an inconsistent color around the edges. So you do want to make sure that you take that color, you lift it up like I'm doing, and you make sure that you get around the corner of the edges, especially if you're using this as a coaster, because no matter where you're putting it on a table or on a coffee table, you're going to be able to see it from all different angles. So you do want to make sure that you get around the edges. So I want to give you one more tip about spreading the paint once you put it down in the tile. You do want to make sure that the cloth on the stamper that I'm using right there is just a tad bit moist with the alcohol rub because that's going to enable the it to glide over top of the tile and not like streak it. When it starts to dry, there's it's a little it's a little tough to pull. And as you do this, you'll see how uh, there's a little bit of an experimental curve, but you'll find your groove. But that was something that I noticed uh, when I was doing it consecutively. Now, using the stamp in an acrylic piece that you can remove the stamp and put it back on, that was awesome. I had never used that before. I'm not a scrapbooker or anything, but I read up on it and talked to some friends. And I really enjoyed this over just a normal stamp because you could see where it was lined up on the tile. Now, I did re reapply the ink each time you notice, instead of trying to stamp the ink onto the pad, I took the pad and put it onto the stamp. That just kind of helped make sure that I had an even flow of the ink on top of the stamp. So every time that I use a stamp, I do make sure that when I'm not going to use it anymore, I rub it off with the rubbing alcohol just to make sure that you get those black clumps off. So do that, put it aside, and then I also cleaned off the acrylic just so that I could have a clear view of where it was going to go on the tile. So when I moved on to the second tile, this time I wasn't going to mix colors. So I did make sure that the pad on my stamper that I was going to mix that tint onto the tile. It is, if you notice, it's kind of dirty, but that's because I've used a gold before. But you want to make sure that you keep replacing the pad so that you don't mix the colors that you did from other. And I believe the package came with probably four or five. I don't remember how many, but I wanted to show you that if you made a mistake, on your tile that rubbing alcohol is your friend when it comes to this project. 
it it cleans the entire tile off and you can start again. So if you, you stamped it, you colored it, you didn't like it, you can erase that completely. I really ended up loving this gold tile. One, because I like metallics, and two, when the stamp went on to the tile, it really just gave a nice wisp of a travel theme, which I love in my home, and that's what gave me the inspiration of, I could use this as a backsplash instead of just using it as a coaster. Now, there are a couple things I wanted to keep in mind. We saw in the last portion that it is very easy that if you make a mistake, you can rub it off with rubbing alcohol. And I've had numerous people write in and ask, well, what happens when you have a backsplash that's a non-traditional product? Will that uphold? Will that w uphold the you know wet or the grease that's around your sink? I believe that if you sealed this up, and I haven't tried it, so I'd have to test it out and let you know for sure. But I believe if you sealed this with either a Mod Podge or some type of um, sealer that can go over tile, that this would really hold up in a wet area like your kitchen or your laundry room. This last one, I wanted to show how you could stamp a tile and do customized. And I used individual letters that I stamped with the, the one problem that I found with this was that the, if you can see the B on the top of the tube doesn't necessarily line up with the actual letter. So sometimes my letters were a little off and if you're a perfectionist, that might bother you, but this was gonna be something that I used outside for plants that I used um, to grow from seeds, so it, it wasn't necessarily needing to be perfection in my opinion, but when you are going to individually stamp, sometimes that is an issue, so just be aware of that. So to wrap up today's video, there's two ways that you can use a stamped homemade tile. You can do it as a coaster, and we, got, we showed you some of those ideas how you could customize it, or you could use it as a kitchen backsplash and customizing it to match your kitchen with your style of stamping or color. So make sure that you do two things. First, would you go ahead and click the bell and subscribe if you want to stay in touch with us. It'll make sure that you get our episodes each week. The second thing is, would you let us know by commenting below if you've ever done a backsplash using a customized tile? The next step is to get your free ultimate home improvement guide. This guide is amazing for anybody who's gonna be doing a kitchen renovation or a home renovation because it's going to first help you plan that renovation. Two, it's gonna help you budget the different items that you're gonna to have to purchase in order to get the renovation done. And three, we chock full of tips and tricks that are gonna help you save time or save money or both as you go through our guide. So again, make sure you get your free ultimate home improvement guide and you can get that in the description below. There's a link.